Hey, how's it going? That was Shadows Fall, and we're here with Brian, the singer, and uh, just wanted to ask you a few questions here. Uh, wanted to find out mainly where you come from and what you're all about and what's basically what's up, man. All right, well, uh, we're from Massachusetts. We kind of cover uh, the four corners of Massachusetts. I live out in Boston. The rest of them are from the western part of the state. Uh, we got to, they've been together for about three years. I joined the band about a year and a half ago after my other band, Overcast, broke up and uh, recorded a demo, sent that out around, and uh, ended up getting picked up by Century Media for a few records. We just dropped our new album, uh, Of One Blood, on Century Media that came out a few months ago, and we're trying to tour in support of that. We just came off the road with uh, All Out War and God Forbid, who's the newest Century Media signed band. And then we just hopped on this tour, which is going to be for the next four weeks or so, with uh, Christian, Dismember, Cataclysm. It's going to be pretty crazy. And then we're taking some time off for two weeks and doing seven weeks with King Diamond. So we're kind of covering the whole spectrum. We did a little hardcore tour, then a death metal tour, and then we're going out with King Diamond doing, doing the more traditional metal tour. And then uh, we'll see what happens after that. Uh, do you find it kind of hard to uh, kind of mix with the different crowds? I mean, are, are crowds accepting you pretty well? or? Yeah, surprisingly so. Uh, we kind of play more of that traditional thrashy, melodic kind of style of metal, a lot of solos, a lot of more clean vocals. But uh, we seem to do really well with the hardcore crowds. We played with, you know, like Earth Crisis and Hatebreed and all those bands. Uh, we've done the death metal tours, which have gone pretty well, uh, you know, like stuff like this. and. Uh, We've also played with bands like Stained and Fear Factory and more of the, you know, like even Kitty, like more of the mainstream stuff. And it seems to go pretty well. We seem to have something that uh, everyone can get into. And hopefully uh, people just keep an open mind and check it out. We're just kind of coming from our influences. Uh, we come from all over the place. we got a drummer who's pretty much jazz-based. And then me and Paul grew up in hardcore bands. And Matt and John have just been playing metal for years. So it's just our, all our influences kind of coming together. So we kind of just mesh that way. And hopefully someone can get something out of it and don't kind of Kind of, oh, they're not a death metal band. They're not a black metal band. It's like, no, we're a metal band. We cover it all. So, I was wondering, whenever it comes time for you guys to actually write, um, what kind of mindset are you in? I mean, what kind of what kind of stuff do you guys listen to to get ready to write songs? And uh, it, it, honestly, like our writing process is very slow and and can be. The reason why we have so many random parts because you never know what John's been listening to and Matt's been listening to when they're writing riffs. It could be anything from you know the the more like kind of Swedish death metal bands like At the Gates or In Flames, or you could be stuck in a faster Pussycat like GNR stage, and you know we'll get that big rock and roll chorus out of them. Or he might have just been listening to a lot of stompier stuff, you know, and then those riffs will come out. And we used to, you know, it used to be a, definitely an issue that you don't want to go too this way or that way. Now we don't care if it sounds good and it works and it fits the overall vibe of the song, it'll stay, you know. There's definitely bands do get caught up in that. This riff wasn't heavy enough. It wasn't brutal enough. We can't use it. We're if it works and fits, it's, it's in there. What's up? This is Brian from Shadows Fall, and you're watching Televicious. Awesome.